Well, here's what a bunch of people wanted. Me to do a non-acting run for a video game, where I'm acting like Aaron and not Cloud. Don't worry, I'll still give you the time to read like I always do, and yes, I'm still gonna talk, because if I didn't, well, then that just would be wrong, wouldn't it? Hey, I could still be Aaron and speak every two seconds. Uh, anyways. And there's not that much text in this game, thank god. But, eh, there's a fair enough. Okay, is it working better now? Thank you. This refills all your health, and this lets you save your game. Make sure to save your game in case you screw up like a... Yeah. Because it's pretty easy to screw up in this game at times. Ugh. Pretty much, don't touch those spikes or they will kill you. And I am pretty damn sure that you do not want to be killed right away. Holy god. Yeah. Well, then again, normal Aaron, meeting me who doesn't act. Well, I don't speak every five seconds when I'm playing a video game, but like I said, I at least have to keep continuing to do this. Otherwise, people might stray away a little bit, so I'll keep talking, don't worry. Anyways, life capsules. They give you your max health increases by three, and it plays a little Super Metroid ish type, you know, sound effect. Metroid, woohoo. But yeah, this is a freeware game for people who wonder, what is freeware? It's obviously a free game. You could download it on the internet. Make sure to get the English version. I recommend... I recommend searching up Cave Story Deluxe and downloading that if you really want to. I might have to turn the volume down a little bit, I'm not sure. Probably not, it probably isn't that close to the mic. Also, no, you are not Sue. Your name is actually Quote. You could consider that a spoiler if you want, but it's not. Since really, you could figure that out on your own. And yes, this is the first gun you get. It's called the Polar Star. It upgrades through crystals you find from killing enemies, and yeah. And every time you get hit, you also degrade a bit. Whoa! Jeez. Thank you for running into me. But yeah, before you leave the cave, at least try to get your gun up to two, if you can. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, if people are doing a speedrun of this game, then by all means, don't upgrade your gun. This isn't meant to be a speedrun, this is meant to be a normal walkthrough. Not saying all my other walkthroughs aren't normal, I'm just more crazy, insane, and HYPER! Yeah, you know, like that. Like, crazy out of nowhere. Woo! You know, when I'm talking, like, really fast like this, but we're not gonna do that today. And I don't know, I might have enough to upgrade my gun. Come on. Come on, little hoppers. No, no, I do not want health. Eh, well, maybe the Mimic. Yeah, see this thing? It's a Mimic. If you don't know about it, it will most likely kill you. Because I know for sure it killed me my first... Oh, look at that. Our gun has leveled up. Now we shoot two. And some more random talking. Sue, answer me. I'm so hungry. There's nothing to eat. I've been introduced to feeding on cockroaches. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, once again, for you people who didn't hear, this is a normal run where I'm... Yeah, I don't have to repeat that, do I? No, I don't. Hand over the key. No, I won't. Uh, and I love this. That's out of nowhere. And down from the sky came quote whatever he decides to fall out of the sky any day now <laughs> yeah how does that scare king that, that's weird okay now make sure to save a lot in this game well unless you're really good at it then don't save but we're gonna be cautious a lot okay see the first thing you need to do when you're in the Miminga, Mi whatever the hell you say their name I'm actually not sure you go here. Once you're in here, you're going to collect a silver pocket watch, I think it is. And if you're oh, damn it, I hate water. Well, you could still make it even if you're going through the water, so don't worry. As long as you don't let that surprise catfish hurt you like it did in my video a long time ago. See this? This is the silver locket. There we go. And yes, the silver locket is... By, yeah, well, you need that to progress, so once you get to Silver Locket, go back and you'll see that little guy. I forgot his name. I think it's Tor Torko or Toroko or something. And now he runs away, so you're like, what do we do? 
Well, that's easy after this. And then he just just rams past him. God, that guy's useless. Whoa, random. That was weird. And well, now we get to go here. I think we go here next. Uh, I hope I'm right. If this is running a little slower than usual, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me do a task. Eh, that's fine. Now make sure to jump and shoot it. Tee hee. And now you know, he notices you're not a bad guy. You're not with the doctor. He's all happy and such. Yeah, yeah, blah. They're so cute. For some reason, they remind me of a mix between, like, Malo and a Moogle. That probably makes no sense to you, but it makes sense to me. I shouldn't have it anymore. King gets his ears all entangled when he sees Sue and I getting along. You can have it. Oh, and guess who it is? It's your friendly neighborhood Balrog. Yeah, it's Balrog, the little lunchbox guy. Since that's exactly what he looks like. And there's Misery. I have something to say, but I will say it in a minute. I love the music for this game. Of course, you guys already know that. Okay, now you have a choice right here. You can either A, fight Balrog, or B, not fight Balrog. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna want to fight him, so we're gonna fight Balrog. Whoa, that! Haha! <laughs> See, look at he's, he's all you have to do is really just jump over him, and then guess what? He's dead. That's it. He's incredibly easy. Of course, he's the first mini boss guy. So really, you can't expect it to be, you know, hard. Whoa. Yeah, it seems there's always a little random, like, lag thing you're asked or something like that. But yeah, um, I'm playing with the keyboard. It's probably a lot more, you know, easy to play with the controller, but... Eh. I'm fine with the keyboard. I beat Sacred Grounds and etc. with the keyboard. I wish I could have used my other recording program for this, but this is fine. This is just fine. I don't really care. Why am I doing this? I just... Yeah, okay, I remember what we gotta do. Over here! We gotta go to the graveyard now. Woohoo! Yeah, talk to this guy after you beat Balrog, or skip the fight. You wanna move a little faster? I like to get this on. I don't have all day. Seriously, though, it's like late right now. Uh huh, little mushrooms. Yeah, the little mushrooms don't pose any threat. Now, this guy, he's easy too. All you gotta do is wait for him to come over, jump over him, and blow his brains out. Also, if I'm correct, there is a... There he is. See, there's a guy in the grass. You're like, what do you need him for? Well, much later you're gonna need him. So remember, there's a little guy in the grass, and remember that door later. You're gonna have to come back. And well, you're like, why do we come to the graveyard? To get this. Oops, should've read that. Arthur's key, which we're gonna need. Oh, shoot, I just remembered. I forgot to get the map system. Every time I go in a door, it does that. That's weird. Eh, all screen recording softwares aren't perfect. But it is just like 5,000 times more like brilliant than fraps. See, I can't lie there. This thing's like uber freaking Jesus. Yeah, you know what? Blah, blah, blah. All that is is a map. It's not really... Well, see, that's what it does. Right there. You can see a map. But I don't need the map. So, yeah. And here's Arthur's house. Use the key. And now, guess what? You're at this place right here. I recommend at least saving in case you uh, screw up on something coming up ahead. Trust me. Also, take note of the red flowers down there. And we are going to the egg corridor. You're like, egg corridor? Yeah, the egg corridor. And here we go. Now, see that thing at the bottom of the screen? It will kill you in one hit, so watch out. 
but we need to get down there to get the health upgrade. Now don't worry, this is very easy, as long as you don't screw up. Now this is what you do, watch it. You jump, you go down, and follow it. See? You can control how far it moves. And then you get your life capsule. So there you go, you got more life. Now you're not going to die as fast as you were originally. So wait for him to pass and then go over again. And run like hell because it's going to come back. And yeah, it, it will kill you in one hit, sadly. Come on! Make sure not to stand in front of the elephants. Because if they ram you, it will hurt you a little bit. Hey, look at that, we're maxed. Yeah, right now, though, the game hasn't got into its increased difficulty. Trust me.